Hi guys, how's it going? So if you already own an Osmo Pocket, then you would already know that the field of view is really narrow. So that's why I had to buy um, a wide angle lens. So when I was looking for one to buy, there were several different brands to pick from and I didn't recognize any of the brand, but I did recognize Ulanzi because I own this other product here and it seems to be really good quality, so that's why I decided to give this one a try. Now, the packaging here is a little bit funny. So, they have the lens here in a little SD card case. So, it's a very small lens and in the back here, there's two little magnetic strips so it should be really easy to attach it to the Osmo so it's really simple to put on you simply just attach it stick it on and it'll stay on with the magnets okay let's go test it out And now with the lens on, you uh, see the aisle widen up right away. I kinda see the fish eye effect as I tilt, but I was standing pretty close to the fridge. This is without the lens on, but I guess you could sorta of see the Vito is kinda jumpy. I guess I kinda bounce a lot when I walk. Am I imagining it or were the pink dresses kind of out of focus for a second in the beginning there? And does the video look a little bit more jumpy to you? Like I'm wondering if the added weight of the extra lens is um, making it a little bit more unstable? What is going on here? Well, I'm having my hand rested on the cart so it's absorbing all the vibrations but well, Osmo is not doing so good here so I guess maybe the Osmo is able to handle the added weight if I'm just walking with my hand free but if I'm resting it on, well, I mean like if there's a lot of small vibration, then I guess the Osmo cannot handle the added weight of the lens.
It seems like with the lens on, the focus is pretty good in the center. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it does an even better job if it's a close-up. But um, the, the outer edges seems to be out of focus. What do you guys think? So the lens stayed on pretty well during the test. Um, I didn't have any problem with it falling off. But I feel like the magnet could be stronger because um, if you're just using it, it's not going to fall off. But I feel like if you accidentally like rub it against something, then it may fall off. Okay, so here's another problem. So if you have the lens on and you turn it on then it's going to have problem calibrating. So this is the message you get. So the package didn't come with any instruction, but on their website, it says um, you need to calibrate it before putting the lens on. So you're supposed to turn on the gimbal before you put on the lens. So that's going to be a problem for me because if you use this, if you turn it on and off all the time, then you will have to constantly put the lens on and off and that's just a lot of hassle, you know. Oh, and here's another problem. So you turn it off and if you have to put it away and you keep the lens on, here's the problem. You see how the gimbal head is sticking out here? Okay. So, so let's take the lens off. So without the extra lens, the gimbal is supposed to be, the gimbal head is supposed to be flushed inside of the cave. But with the lens on, you could see even though the lens is really small, it's still kind of thick comparing to the tiny little gimbal so if you put in the case with the extra lens on the head is going to stick out a little bit and i feel like that could do damage to the head so you have to take out the lens every time you want to put in the case so I mean, it will work out if you just do like a long session of filming, but if you like vlog or something and you have to constantly turn on and off and putting it in and out of the case, then it's going to be a whole lot of hassle knowing what to do with this lens, like where are you going to store it, you know? So let me know what you think of the quality of the lens, but um, I think it's okay considering that um, it's not very expensive. But I'm not going to use it as often as I like to because it's just too much of a hassle to constantly putting it on and off every time you have to turn on and off the gimbal. So um, I'll carry it around in my purse and I'll use it only when I really need to, like when I'm in a very small space. But I was hoping that it will be just like a put it on and forget about it lens, but that's not the case. Okay guys, let me know what you think of this lens and if you know of any other better brands, um, please put it in the comments below and thanks for watching.